Hi, this is Charles Kim with the Princeton Packet and the South Brunswick Post. We're here in the historic village of Kingston today, June 22nd, for the Lincoln Highway Tour. This is a group of 140, 140 vehicles representing 270 people from 28 states that are doing a tour of the Lincoln Highway, 100th anniversary this year, built in 1913, first transcontinental highway in the country. Now what they're doing is a group has started in New York City this morning in Times Square and is coming through this area going west and another group is starting out in San Francisco and heading east. The two will meet in Kearney, Nebraska around June 30th. So we're expecting quite a few cars coming into Kingston today, many of them antique cars like this one behind me, and a lot of people coming in from all over the country to celebrate this historic roadway. So stay tuned, we have some good stuff for you. Uh, please uh, give me your names and tell me where you're from. I'm uh, Barb Liber from Joliet, Illinois. Barry McHugh. And, uh, and what brought you out on this tour? Well, the story was we were coming in to see my son in Joliet and noticed that we passed Route 30 in Pennsylvania. So I researched it. There's a lot of information up there. We found the Lincoln Highway Association that they have this tour from Times Square to San Francisco. And we said, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so we joined in and hooked in and we've been cruising with it. And it's like a, and what's turning out to be, it's like a road route. We have a bunch of listed instructions. Turn left at 1.4 miles, right. turn right over here, because we're following the old original route, not the marked route. So GPS is good for, you're kind of here, but it doesn't help you out. So we're just having a fun going from stop to stop to stop. And the crew, we didn't bring an old classic car, but there's like 70, 75 people, 70, 75 cars, 40 or 50 of them are classics, all the way back from the 20s to the early 60s. And there's one of them up there right now, the Barracuda, is gorgeous looking. I saw that earlier. Really. So, so what's it like being part of the road back? The people are absolutely wonderful. Everybody's very friendly, very helpful. Um, he, and I have figured, he and I have figured out that it's better for me to drive and him to give the directions and navigation. So that's working out well. We aren't going to kill each other. Um, it's a challenge. So, you know, you have to work that out because, as you said, it's very tricky. You can't just follow routes. You have to turn left here and turn right there. So it's working out pretty well. And each um, day we'll meet for lunch at a designated um, stop, and then we're all staying at designated places um, along the route all the way to Nebraska. So we'll meet up for dinner every night. It's kind of a free for all Now, we stopped earlier at Lincoln Park in uh, Newark. Oh, Men Menlo Park. Menlo Park. Menlo. We stopped there and they had nice, just nice, you know, they, were, they had it all set up. They put in their new signs. They're just very nice. So all along the trip, it appears, it's just going to be just things like this all the way up. It's just the 100th anniversary of the first intercontinental highway. Lincoln Highway. Lincoln yes. Highway. Lincoln right. Highway. The first intercontinental highway. Is this the first time you guys have done anything like this? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 61. And she's yeah. not quite. She's about the same. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm in that neighborhood. <laughs> and what, 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 what do you do for work? I'm an engineer and, and uh, power plant, power plant engineer, electrical so this, engineer. So this is a nice little place to vacation. Or... This is a prelude to my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning how to do it. <laughs> what, what's been the most challenging thing about this? No, for, for retiring. Oh, getting out of the rat Well, that's just it. You do it for so long, and you kind of hung up in it. And you don't want to let go of it, even though you got it planned and you have what you need. Man, it's hard to get just let go of it, so I'm easing up. And uh, are, are you a affectionate adult for working cars? <laughs> Not really, no. I mean, I played with them as a kid, just like most people did my age. We could wrench cars back when I was a kid. No, but this is fun. And I've done motorcycles and had a little, I have an older motorcycle that I've wrenched. But not like these guys, not even in our category. They're carrying spare water pumps and oil pumps. Yeah. And they talk about the best stop leak to use for the radiator. <laughs> I'm not in that league at all. 
Oh, thank you for speaking with us. Enjoy the trip. Yes, we are so far. Very much so. Thank you. Thanks. No, no, we just put them here on display. They're, they're, they're you know Vicky and Patricia? What? You know Patricia, Vicky and Patricia, right? Oh, and hi. Stephanie? Yeah. Hi, we're here with Robert von Zubush, who is the Kingston Historical Society president. Robert, what do we have going on? What we have today is the Lincoln Highway Association Centennial Tour to the Transcontinental Tour. They're going to go first to Kearney, Nebraska, where they have their annual convention, and then they'll go on to San Francisco. Well, so, so there's another, another group, group coming from San Francisco that will come to Kearney and then come on to New York. Now, on the way, they'll pick up additional people. Uh, the tour started at Times Square in New York City, and it's going to stop at Edison at the Tower, and then it's stopping here in Kingston for lunch. And, you know, Tara is providing lunch, uh, and we have a little exhibit here in the block tender's house about the Kingston Highway, which will be on uh, now uh, until, until September, and then we have another exhibit coming up on Princeton Nurseries, which is also having a centennial this year. So it's a busy year for it's the It's a very busy year for the Kingston Historical Society. And the uh, Kingston always, was really the whole uh, beginning of Kingston had to do with transportation. The Ford originally over the Millstone River, later bridges and what have you. And it was the main road uh, between New York and Philadelphia. Uh, it was a major stagecoach stop during colonial times and afterwards. And uh, it wasn't until the railroad came that that sort of faded away. Uh, then, with the beginning of the Lincoln Highway in 1913, which was uh, sort of a project to have a paved road across the United States, it was put together with existing paved roads, although at the time not all the roads really were paved. Uh, and uh, that went through Kingston and remained through Kingston through the whole Kingston, uh, the uh, Lincoln Highway. Era. The Lincoln Highway era basically is from 1913 to, say, the Second World War. Uh, after that, it, it, although the name remains in many roads here, uh, the official name of both 27 and uh, this little road here, the old Lincoln Highway, is still Lincoln Highway. <laughs> but uh, most people now don't refer to it that anymore. But it, uh, Kingston has always been a major area for transportation. The canal came through. The railroad uh, originally came through, but later was diverted, uh, and uh, now so it ran uh, through Monmouth Junction rather than through Kingston. It ran, didn't go through this part of Kingston, it went down the other end. And, and when was Kingston? Uh, well, the first settler of Kingston was uh, Henry Greenland, and he came in 1683. And in 1686, in his house, which part of which still stands and is in Princeton Township just over the bridge. Uh, the Keith Line Agreement was signed, which divided New Jersey into East and West New Jersey. Now, Kingston is, is not a municipality. It's a little bit of four municipalities in three counties. All three counties... Which, which four municipalities? Uh, the, the three counties are Somerset, Middlesex, and Mercer. They all come together on the old Kingston Bridge, which was built in 1798. And that replaced it several earlier bridges, including one that was destroyed by George Washington to deter the British from following him after the Battle of Princeton. Uh, the municipalities are in Mercer County, Princeton, Somerset County, Franklin Township, Middlesex County, both South Brunswick Township and a small part of Plainsboro. But there are small parts of all of those townships. And so it is, however, on the New Jersey State Plan, a designated village center with designated environs, which is designated historic and cultural and critical environmental, which provide a green belt around the town. So it's a, it's a unique town in that respect. And, and also Kingston, uh, years ago, developed the people who was in Kingston this year. Now it's right. mostly like the advisory where you have... Right. 
representatives from the village that go to each of the municipalities well, are represented they're, they're so that they have a, a cohesive plan for them. Exactly. And, and basically, the, the, uh, it's basically the Joint Advisory Committee is appointed by South Brunswick and Franklin, which are the major players. Uh, we also do make contact with Princeton. I actually live in Princeton Township, uh, just across the bridge. But uh, nevertheless, uh, the two townships, Franklin and South Brunswick, are the major players in the uh, Kingston. Well, the, the, the folks in Kingston have, despite part of all the different counties and municipalities, have definitely a unique character in this village. Right. It's something all of its own. And it's, speak it's, a little bit to that. Yeah, well, it's a co cohesive group. They've maintained this over the years. Uh, and it you know, goes back to colonial times, really. And uh, it, uh, there's a fire company, which is a major element in the town. But there are also some restaurants and so on. It holds together. A place like Main Street, people come and eat for you know, a snack in the afternoon or lunch or what have you. Uh, a place like Eno Terra here is you know, a first-class restaurant right here on right in Kingston. And, and in an old in an old building, in part, the oldest part, the formerly Fisk's Grocery, years and years ago, and that's been restored and now is a, a sort of a wine bar. Part of it. It was always for me to use that cover the town. Yeah. It maintains that very small town, right. Main Street type of atmosphere, yeah. despite all the growth around it and being on a busy road like Route 27. Right. And, and what has the, the residents of Kingston done to make that? Work? Well, the, the, through first the Kingston Initiative and then the Village Advisory Committee, which is locally known as KBAC, Kingston Village Advisory Committee. Uh, has worked very hard to make sure that, first of all, uh, we have some control over the traffic. We don't have a great deal because it's a state highway. But also that historic preservation ordinances have been put in in all the towns. In, at least Princeton uh, was earlier, actually, in South London, frankly. So uh, within the village, it's, there is a control. And uh, there are a number of events during the year that hold people together. And we have, in addition to the Kingston Historical Society, which was the first of the groups uh, founded through the Kingston Initiative, actually. Uh, there's also the Kingston Greenways Association, which deals with open space. And then, now there's Friends of Princeton Nursery Land, which deals specifically with the old Princeton Nursery property, Kingston site. And uh, so there's a lot going on, and uh, because the Kingston site, Princeton Nursery, is also having a send down this year, we have an event uh, on the 7th to celebrate that at the nursery. And we are going to, the Kingston Historical Society on the 9th of October is going to give a lecture. Uh, the lecture will be given by Bill Clement IV. And we'll be, of course, full of slots that's good. So it should be a, a good thing. Um, we had uh, a lecture on the Lincoln Highway that was given by Mary Tablet, which is We had over 70 people. I just wait him to give it again. <laughs> thank you very much, Thomas. Well, thank you for coming, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I'm, we're delighted that these older cars have come here from the era. And this is a big event for Kingston. And it's very, it's sort of the essence of Kingston beginning the highway. And the thank, thank you very much. Good. I hope that worked. <laughs>